Shalom, brothers and sisters. First and foremost, I want to turn to the east and give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And of course, salutations to all the 144 hopefully elect out there, the other Akim that's pushing the word in all truth and sincerity. And of course, the, um, the one third of Israel who believe in the 100% truth and follow the land wherever, we, wherever he goeth. Okay? Um, yeah, this is my second take here. Uh, the, the audio cord was not, was, was plugged in, so. Uh, sorry about that, Salaki. But, um, yeah, man. Uh, it, 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 it kind of grieves my heart a little bit to be here again, giving a second rebuke to a one body in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Um, because these dudes, man, they're going off though. They're getting they're getting worse and worse. So, um, it 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 was it was bothering me a little bit until I read a scripture that I'm gonna bring out later, and that scripture made me feel a, a little bit better uh, about the situation. Because it's very sad, but and that's why on I think the last rebuke I did with them, I said, "Blessed are your eyes to to be able to see the truth." And, and know the difference uh, what's right and what's wrong because you know it's uh, if you know what does it say if it were possible they would deceive the very elect and these are the things that that, uh, that, that, that that scripture is talking about if it was possible they would deceive the very elect so not only uh, the ease but also some of your own brethren man hmm? What what is going on? What they with the vain glory? So look, without further ado, we're gonna we're gonna read like uh, I got three scriptures here, and then I'm gonna play this video. Okay. Now I got it, I got this brick wall behind us right here because talking to or or rebuking these guys is like talking to a brick wall. I'm gonna change it in a little bit. I just want to prove a point. You ever heard that saying talking to it like you're talking to a brick wall? That's that's them, man. Because obviously they didn't they didn't. Of all the rebuke, they they still uh, like making light that everybody's in Great Millstones coming down on them for all the things that they said. Now, of course, the the man come out first. Uh, first, I got wind of it is uh, him saying that the Lord didn't perform any miracles when he walked the earth. Okay. Uh, then, of course, we know he's uh, he's all over the place about the mark of the beast, right? And now this is saying that manna did not fall from the sky. Now, okay, so what he's done, he, he we're gonna the video the video that he's talking about is these Hamites. Uh, now I don't he I'm sure he didn't go over and investigate it himself, but these these Hamites are saying that manna has been falling from the sky and, and feeding their village, right? And there's a church and everything. So I'm gonna let the video play. Uh, but to about five minutes of that segment so you can see that and then we'll jump to the 30 minute segment where he goes in and start not you know it's uh, he can say that about that church all he wants you know and denounce that but when you start attacking the scripture now that's a different story so he started to jump go back to the book of Exodus and attack the Lord when he brought the children of Israel out of Egypt right and and he fed a manna he's saying that didn't, that didn't happen so that's why we're here today y'all Okay, so look, let's jump right into scripture. This is Isaiah chapter 1, verse 2. It says, O ye heavens, hear, O ye heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord has spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. And that's what this dude's doing here. The ox knows his owner, and the ass his master's crib, but Israel does not know. My people does not consider. So this, this man, he's been woken up to the truth, but now he's denouncing the power of the Most High. So you don't even, you don't even know who your owner is, man. Huh? Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquities, a seed of evildoers, children that are corrupt, that are corrupt, that are corruptors. They have forsaken Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel into anger. They're going away backwards, man. The, the man not going forward. He's going backwards. Huh? You don't woke up to the truth. Now you're denouncing the, now you're denouncing the truth. 
Why should ye be stricken any more? Ye will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick, the whole heart faint. From the sole of the foot, every even until the head, there is no soundness in it, but wounds and bruises and purifying sores, pet, petrifying sores, they have not been closed, neither bound up, neither mollified with ointment. Your country is desolate. Your cities are burned with fire and la your land, strangers devoured in your presence, and it is desolate, as overthrown by strangers. Now all this happened to the children of Israel because of their rebellion, and this man is still rebelling to this day. And this is verse 8, Isaiah chapter 1 verse 8. And the daughters of Zion is left as a cottage in the vineyard, as a lodge in a garden of cucumbers, as a besieged city. Except the Lord of hosts had left us a very small remnant. And what we what we're saying is this this man can I we don't know for sure, but it doesn't seem to be that this man is is a small remnant that the Lord has left. Because he's going off. Except the Lord of hosts had left us unto us a very small remnant, we should have been as Sodom and we should have been like unto Gomorrah, man. Okay? Now look, let's keep it moving. We're going to go to Proverbs. Okay. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 32. Now therefore, hearken unto me, O children, for blessed are they that keep my ways. What are the Lord's ways? Right here, written in the scriptures. Hear instructions and be wise and refuse it not. What? Refuse it not. But wait, this man saying, no, that, that didn't happen. No. Hear instruction and be wise and refuse it not. Blessed is the man that heareth me. Blessed is the man that heareth me. Watching daily at my gates, waiting on at the post of my doors. For whoso findeth me findeth life, and shall obtain favor of the Lord. They shall obtain favor of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. For whoso findeth me findeth life, and shall obtain favor of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All that that hate me love death. And we're saying that this man hate the Lord. Because these scriptures are the Lord. But you're saying that that didn't happen. You're saying no, no. That's, that's, the Lord didn't do that. Again and again and again he said this. So it's evident, it's obvious that you hate the Lord. Right? Let's go to the book of Romans. Chapter 1, verse 21. 121 would say, Because that, when they knew Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, they glorify him not as Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, neither were thankful. So they glorified him not as God. And they weren't thankful. They weren't really thankful that the Lord woke them up to the truth. Huh? They don't believe in the Lord. But became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. They became vain in their imaginations. No, we let's let's try to figure out how this happened. What does it really mean? He keeps talking about that these people are hungry for doctrine, just like the wine will equal doctrine. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools and charged the glory of uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man. And to birds and four footed beasts and creepy things. Wherefore, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Who can ch change the truth of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai into a lie? 
Who can change the truth of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai into a lie? This fool. And worship and serve the creature more than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. Okay, that's that's it for now. We're gonna watch this, watch the watch this, watch this man here uh, blaspheme the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay. So like I said, I'm gonna play the first five minutes first to get you the intro of, of what he's talking about, where he got this information of uh, these uh, these Hamites and everything. There's some Christian church saying man has fallen from the earth. Okay, it's okay to denounce that. That's cool. But when you go into the scriptures and start trying to pick apart the scriptures, that is not cool, brothers. Because what else? What else are you gonna do? Like I said. Are, are you going to next just throw the whole book away and just start speaking from your heart? Are you going to say that, oh, we're not really the Israelites next? Huh? Okay, so let's watch the video, okay? Then, oh, so after the five minutes, then I'm going to jump to the, to the, to the, about around 30 minutes inside the video just so you can see exactly him. Uh, saying that the manna did not fall from from the earth and how it goes into it a little bit more But we're going to just show just a very small segment of that Then we're going to come back and, and finish it up read a couple, a couple more scriptures, okay? So let's check it out Shalom, shalom, giving all praises to the Most High and His Son, Yahweh Shai Today's class Mama never fell from heaven. Why do we believe the lies that uh, Esau have taught us, man? Let me ask y'all a question. Who believe Mama fell from heaven? You ain't got to tell the truth. Some of y'all really thought this, didn't they? That sun was falling out the sky, bread was falling, they were running out there to go pick it up, put it in, you know, and eat it, and you know, when you think about it, where was it falling on the ground? <laughs> think about it. You know, somebody might have did the number two over there. Who's going to go get that bread? <laughs> I'm going to start out with the video first, Moses. Uh, give me the video, man. Let me show you how the Jehovah wickedness. And you're going to see the devil working his, his, you know, this is how they do it right here. Uh, play the video. As the work to earn more souls in Angola continues, it is clear that what did he say he wanted they trying to do? Destroy more souls, man. That's what they're doing, trying to destroy more souls. Look at all them people's in there, man. You see who are in front of woman. I right, give a shout out to the North Carolina camp and Barry and his wife, they recovering in the hospital. I told them they the first couple I know that went in together. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and play it, Moses. God's hand is at play. And we... And look, who trusts this guy here, man? <laughs> Go ahead and play. Praise him for all the success that is taking place in Angola. By the end of this campaign in December, the church expects to have baptized more than the Esau behind it, ain't it, man? It's who's there pumping this stuff, man. Go ahead and play. The number of new souls in Angola alone. The baptism in Angola regarding the Luanda of Satan right there with him, man. See, Satan is the one set up TD Snake, set up Creflo Hala. Um, he set up all these denominations. That's his stuff, you know. But he gonna put somebody look like you to do his dirty work. That's right. He gonna make sure Pastor Pimp is getting paid. Well, this campaign would not be complete without the mention of the manna that falls every Wednesday and Friday at the Mamba Adventist Station. In the man, hold up, hold up. Where is this falling at the Adventist Station, man? I know, man. We've been caught up in this in this in this web of lies. It only falls at their station. Go ahead, play, mother. 
Manna has been falling in this drought-stricken area since 1945, and we praise God for providing to His people. We have always had... Does she look like man of father today? So, <laughs> and she just out there. With, <laughs> come out of Then you know this person ain't saying what this person is saying. Uh -huh. <laughs> she just out there doing the work, man. And then they got their feet all in it. <laughs> but let me see it through this video. Do anything falls out the sky. Go ahead and play, Moses. Harvest in this area. But God has always provided for his people. My sister. Ain't them Hamites? <laughs> Ain't them Hamites, though. <laughs> so, how is them God's people? See, this. I know a lot of y'all used to go to church and believe in this stuff, man. It's okay. Now you're getting the medicine. Go ahead and play, Moses. I can testify that they survived on manna when times were hard at the Number Adventist Mission. Until today, People are still eating it. Curiosity killed the cat, and so Sid Media's director, Noel Sibanda, visited the area in the southern part of Angola to get the first-hand information. And as they say, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. Here Why couldn't they show it falling? Anybody want to see it falling? I want to see it falling. But see, this is a trickery of... of Christianity. Then they stick one of their own out there. Let's see what he say, Moses. We are at Nama Adventist Mission Station. We came, we saw, we smelled, we tied, and now I'm testing for the third time just to convince you that indeed this is manna from heaven. The test, I can't describe it. It tastes of everything that. I see like one of the commercials y'all be watching on television, don't you? You know, y'all see it, y'all run right to the store to go get it. Like, man, I've been too bad. They got me again. Go ahead and play, Mola. Ever eaten that is so good. I've also come to test the manna and uh, I can't really describe how it tastes like. It is like honey-like. It's like a cake. I, I really don't have words to describe how it tastes like. Exactly, I don't know how to describe it. I just know that it's white and it's sweet. But the real taste, I can't have anything to... Not for that, man. <laughs> so, they broadcast this on TVN and the Christian News Network. And people flock to it. And they believe it. We don't believe it. Let's go to Exodus 16.01. Here's, here's the second clip. <laughs> Brother, you don't need to have your fringes and your beard on, man. We're in captivity. We have to live by you got to, got to some, we got to eat here. I see brothers with beard all the time in here working, man. Brothers ain't trying to come together. Read on up. But afterwards, his mouth shall be filled with gravel. Graves, gravel, man. That means he's going into the, he's going to be put to death. See, let him keep talking. Yep, 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 yep. Let him keep talking. Back to Exodus 16 and 3 now. And we got it. You see how many precepts it took to tell that story? Most high and the son loves y'all. So they thinking I'm just going to be in here doing this, doing that. No, I'm just doing the Lord's work. Now let's read it again. Read that out. The book of Exodus, chapter 16, and verse 3. And the children of Israel said unto them, Would to God we had died by the hand of the Lord in the land of Egypt. Read on. When we sat by the flesh pot. When we sat that by, when we dwell as us by the temple read. And when we did eat bread to the full, then we took on all the Egyptian customs, man. Read. For ye have brought us forth into this wilderness to kill this whole assembly. To, to what? Kill this whole assembly. Read on. With hunger. With what? With hunger. Give me Exodus 12 and 38. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. I know, I know. Y'all want to get that preacher when the one was in there talking about, uh, which one was that one in Martin? 
<laughs> Y'all won't be up here doing all this and stuff, moonwalking, and everybody's spirit in here just is good. Hey, we got that video, Moses. <laughs> Give me that. Find that video, man. You probably go into the history and and you'll find it quicker. Read that right quick. Uh, the book of Exodus, chapter 12 and verse 38. Read on. And a mixed multitude. These are, it was of other nations. Amen and Moab. Read. Went up also with them. They went up also with us. Read. And flock. Hold up. And what? And flock. What do we have? And flock. Hold up, man. We had flocks? Read. And herds. And what? And herds. So we had herds too? Read. Even very much cattle. What do we have? Very much cattle. So why was they hungry? <laughs> <laughs> oh man <laughs> you got it yeah let's see the video man this is what they coming in here to see there go granny right there now, now I realize that it's not here and now and again some of you women folk look at it so that's what they think they post coming to the Israel and see. But what I want you to do when you get that hot and you want to I want you to I want you to Watch your girl number. See that's what they want to do over here, man. <laughs> now watch Granny. See that man? Hey, it's just wickedness, man. Here at the Great Ape Ever Needs a New Revival Tree of Life. <laughs> 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 That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> How are you getting any knowledge in there? You're not getting nothing. You're just getting a good good song and dance. You're feeling good when you leave. You got something. Yeah, man. Hey, Shipshine, go to Proverbs 14, 15 real quick. Because, man, like y'all heard from me, it sound like a broken drum. For me, it sound like a broken drum. Yeah, man. Hey, man. Hey, Shipshine, go to Proverbs 14, 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Ye
Read up. Which we did do. Hold on. We, we what? Which we did do. So now it's saying that he, they ate it too. Read. In Egypt freely. They ate it freely. Let me ask y'all something. Let me take my glasses off. I'm looking at everybody now. Do we get fish around here free? <laughs> so, uh, they ate it freely, man. Freely. You got to have a license to catch. He got it now. Come on, Moses, man. You got to get in the spirit, man. So we're back, and y'all see what we're talking about, right? You see that? It's madness. It's, uh, it's, 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 a, it's a little scary. And then, like I always say, he's sitting between two other brothers. He's got a whole congregation in, in, out there laughing and giggling. It reminds me of IUIC, the same way they do it. They sit around, uh, just like some church. Pretty much, and us uh, just spew madness out of their mouth, man. Um, yeah, let's just read these scriptures here. I don't want to go into too much of a tangent, but let the scriptures speak for themselves. This is the book of Romans, chapter 16, verse 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause division and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them see avoid them man so woe to those people that still flocking up in that listening to that man like I said before cause you cause what he's causing division man and offenses contrary to what the doctrine so he's saying that's written in the scriptures that manna fell from earth angels food you ate angels food but he's saying, no, that's not, that didn't happen. For they that are such serve not Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, but their own belly, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. For your obedience has come ab abroad unto all men. I am glad, therefore, on your behalf. But yet I would have you wise until that which is good and simple concerning evil. So it's simply, you know, we, we should simply see that, hey man, you, your ass is going off. Bam. Period. Point blank. And you have a Hashem, you have a shy of peace, shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. The grace of our Lord, you have a Hashem, you have a shy, be with you. Amen. That's right, because the Lord said he's going to come back and put all this shit down. You see, all this, all this stupidness, all this wickedness. Because that's, that's all it is, wickedness, man. Going against scripture like that. So we're gonna uh while we're here, we're gonna slide over to Titus, the book of Titus. Okay, and you know y'all know where we're going. We're going to Titus verse 3 and 9. It says, But avoid foolish questions and genealogies and contentions and strivings about the law, for they are unprofitable and vain. A man that is a heretic, heretic after the first and second admonition reject, knowing that he knowing that he that is such is subverted and sinneth being condemned of himself. Okay? So but avoid foolish questions and genealogies and contentions and strivings about the law because they are unprofitable and vain and a man that is a heritage after after the first and second animation reject so a heritage is someone that goes against this doctrine man okay plain and simple so this, that's what this man's doing the word says hey uh, he dropped manna from the sky and they ate the manna and they were full then not only that they started complaining, said they want some meat. So the Lord uh, has some quail fall. Is the quail damn scripture too, fool? Matthew, 
Let's go to the Matthew chapter 15, verse 14. The Lord, the Lord be giving us business, man. This is the uh, book of Matthew chapter 15, verse 14. Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. And that's what I mean by them people in the audience cracking up and shit. Then answered Paul and said unto him, Declare unto us this parable. And Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai said, Also are ye, I'm Salaki, are ye also yet without understanding? Hmm? Do not ye un yet understand that whosoever enter into enter in at the mouth goeth into the belly. I'm sorry, whatsoever enter in in the mouth goeth into the belly and is cast out into the draw. Right? So you shit that out. But those things which proceed out of the mouth came forth from the heart. And they defile the man. So these things that the man is saying right now, going against the word of the Lord, that's, gonna, that's defiling him and is condemning his ass. For out of the heart proceeded evil thoughts, murderers, adulteries, fornications, thieves, false witnesses, blasphemies. Okay? These are the things which defile a man, but to eat with unwashed hands defileth not a man. But it's the things that all that garbage coming out of your mouth, man. Let's go to the book of Daniel. Okay. And we're going to go to 12. We're going to read verse 1 to 3. At that time shall Michael stand up the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that to that time same time and at that time thy people shall be delivered right that's what we're waiting on Eve, every one that shall be found written in the book and that's why we're hoping and praying that we have mercy of Yahweh Baba Shem Shai and that we are written in this book right and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, right? Some to everlasting life, and some to everlasting shame and everlasting contempt. So which one are you? Hmm? Are you going to listen to this garbage? And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. And they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. And that's what we're seeking for right there. We want to be shining, man. We don't want to be going against the scriptures of the, of the Most High. It's madness. And what the first what's the what the first one what the first scripture we read say? Um, he He that that hate the Lord loves death. You know what I'm saying? So and that goes with the other scripture. If you're not with me, you're against me. And he that is against me scattereth. Right? So you're scattering the sheep, man, because you're not with the most high. You're not with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, uh, we gotta go back to Hebrews, and Hebrews chapter ten, verse thirty. For we know him that has said, "Vengeance belongeth unto me; I will recompense," said the Lord. And again, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai shall judge his people. Okay, so you got a, a butt whooping coming your way, boy. It is a fearful. Thing, to fall into the hands of the living God. It's a fearful thing to fall into the land, land the, into the hand of the fearful in, into Salaki. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. And then it says, But call to remembrance the former days in which, after ye were illuminated, ye endure a great fight of afflictions. Partly whilst ye were made at ga a gazing stock, both by reproaches and afflictions, 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 and partly whilst ye became companions of them that were so used. For ye had compassion of me in my bounds, and took joyfully the spoiling of your goods. 
knowing in yourselves that ye have in you, in heaven a better and an, an everlasting substance, right? So we're waiting on that. It says, Cast not away therefore your confidence, which has great recompense of reward. Don't don't cast away your faith, man. For ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of Yahweh Hashem and Yahweh Shai, ye might receive the promise. So a lot of brothers, you know, they they I guess they be looking for more. And in their quest for more, they they become fools. Because you, you start uh I don't know what I don't know what the hell happened. But it's all it's all it's all up to the Lord, man. So I, I don't know if the Lord blew that man candle out. I have no idea what the hell happened to that man, but I pray that it does not happen to me or to you, brother. It says, this is verse 37, so this is chapter 10, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 37. For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come, and will not tarry. So we have to be patient in the Lord. Don't be going off doctrine. Don't start doing your own thing out here and all this stupidness, man. This is not the time for that. Now the just shall live by faith. What? The just shall live by what? The just shall live by faith. Huh? Yes, faith, man. Have a little faith, man. But if any man draw back, my soul shall not ha shall have no pleasure in him. Now, don't forget what it says in the, in the front. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Okay? Now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Did that man draw back or something? But we are not of them who draw back into perdition, into destruction, but of them that believe to the savings of the soul. Now, this man is definitely falling back into into destruction of his own damn soul by saying all those all those perverse things, man. Okay, look, y'all, we're gonna go to the book of Exodus real quick. Just to prove a quick point here. Right here. Before that. And then, uh, what's that, 31? So we're going to go to Exodus 31. Verse 1. We're going to read verse 1 to 3. Exodus 31, verse 1 to 3. And Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah spoken to Moses, saying, And Yahweh spoken to Moses, saying, See, I have called by name Bazalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah. And I have filled him with the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai in wisdom. And in understanding, and in knowledge, and in all manner of workmanship. So it is the Lord that bestows upon a brother this knowledge and wisdom and understanding. Okay, so that's why we all have to glorify the Lord. We we can't be running around leaning on our own understanding, and we can't be thinking that we we have some kind of hot shit around here. Okay, uh, let's slide over to Second Chronicles, chapter one, verse twelve. Second Chronicles, chapter one, verse twelve. It says, "Wisdom and knowledge is granted unto thee, and I will give thee riches and wealth and honor, such as none of the kings have had that have been before thee. Neither shall there any after thee have the like." So it says, "Wisdom and knowledge is granted unto thee." So again, the Lord grants you wisdom and knowledge. Okay, because it's up to Him. Because in the Apocrypha it states that uh, wisdom like is sitting right next to the throne of, of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know. These guys, these guys. Right. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go to the book of Job, just to. Okay, we're gonna uh, because I wanna I wanna go in on Job just for a little bit, chapter thirty eight. Okay, we're gonna read. Let's read. Let's read like five or six uh, verses, 
But then I'm going to jump down to Job 38, 36 to prove that, to, to, to hit the hammer on the on the head of the nail, okay? This is uh, Job, wait, oh shit, what happened to it? Oh, here it is. So this is Job 38. Then Yahweh, Yahweh answered Job out of the whirlwind and said, Who is this that darketh counsel by words without knowledge? It said, Gird up thy, now thy loins like a man, for I will demand of thee and answer thou me. It says, Where wast thou when I laid the foundation of the earth? Declare, declare. If thou hast understanding, hmm? It says, Who hath laid the measures thereof, if thou knoweth? Or who hath stretched the line upon it? Whereupon are the foundations thereof fastened? Or who laid the cornerstone thereof? When the morning stars sang together, when the morning stars sang together, and all the sons of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai shout for joy, or who shut up the sea with with doors when it break forth, as if it had issued out of the womb? Wow. It says, When I made the clouds, the garments thereof, and the thick darkness a swaddling for it, and broke up. For it made the more, more for it made the cree place and set bars and doors, and said, Hithro, shalt thou come, but no further, and here shall thy proud waves be stayed. Okay. One, let's read one more verse. Hast thou commanded the morning since that thy day, and caused the day the day spring to know his place? That's right. What have you done, man? You ain't did nothing, but you're standing up here uh, talking about so proudly and so bold that the Lord ain't did nothing. That the Lord didn't make, perform these miracles. You know what I'm saying? Now let's jump to 38 to prove, uh, just to knock this head on the, the nail on the head. So this is Job chapter 38, verse 36, Salaki. Okay, it said, Who had put wisdom in the inward parts? Or who had given understanding to the heart? That's right. Who did that? Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. That's who. And that's that's it. I could go further, but if y'all want to read that Job thirty-eight, it's a, it's a nice and, and it shows uh, the, a lot of the inner workings of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. But look, uh, that I mean, we could go on and on and on about this man talking about. How ignorant he is and everything, you know, when it comes to Yahweh Shimmy Yahweh Shai and the power thereof, and how bold and unwise he is to be speaking against Yahweh Shimmy Yahweh Shai. I feel like he's speaking against him by denouncing all the miracles, you know, for one, and uh, and just all this thing he's saying, man. He just he he he, he can't possibly believe in the Lord, man. You you don't fear the Lord, man. What the fuck is wrong with these people? Look, this is the last scripture of the night, okay? We're going to get out of here. This is Romans chapter 11, verse 7. It says, What then? Israel have not attained that which is seeking for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. So this right here gives us another, another little key thing uh, to be hopeful, that we are of the hopeful 144,000 elect, okay? We're doing the work. We're trying to do it properly the way the Lord uh, said we should be doing it. Um, we we believe that we have the 100% truth, that Great Millstone. That's why I follow Great Millstone. I'm not a part of Great Millstone, but I definitely feel like they're my family. They're my brethren, okay? I, I want to join them, but they, they close the gates, but whatever. And it, you know, it's okay. Let's, 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 let's keep reading just a little bit. This is verse 8. According as it is written, 
Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai has given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear until this day. So there you go. Because this man definitely must not be able to see and hear the things that we see and hear. He must not be able to understand that when the Lord said, I dropped manna down to feed the, sh the children of Israel, that's what he means. Okay? When he performed the miracles and he fed 5,000 people with fish and bread, that's what he talking about. When the scriptures are talking about the R R R F I D chip, that's what it means. I want to turn to the east and close it out properly. I hope you guys were edified uh, in the lesson. And please stay away from that man. That's what the scriptures say. Do not listen to that dude. Uh, if anybody's in that camp, y'all y'all might want to run for cover, man. Okay. And with that, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping us all on point, man, and making sure that we, we're, we're uh, doing things properly by the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? Being the big brothers, spreading charity and love, man. Okay? And, of course, uh, the other Akim out there, the hopefully elect, 144,000, that's pushing the word with all truth and sincerity out there on the highways and byways, risking your lives to do so. And I, I see that now more clearly. Like, last uh, at camp, somebody was throwing eggs at me, man. And like I said, I'm just happy that they were not rocks. So, you know. But hey, I, I in my mind, I, I just, uh, we, we all, you know, we, we know we, we know what we're up against. So we know, you know, what this entails. So we're in it. We're in it. No matter what comes our way. And plus we have faith in the Lord. So whatever does come is the will of the Lord, ultimately. Uh, and of course, the one third out there that believes in 100% truth and follow the Lamb the word wherever he goes. With that, shout warm, brothers and sisters.